Hi guys, welcome back to the Autosportivo YouTube channel. I'm Ants. I'm and Maxwell. This is Maxwell. Um, guys, <laughs> we've purchased a new car, haven't we? Yeah. Maxwell came along with me. We've found a Mark I Punto GT. We went all the way to London to pick this car up, didn't we? Yeah, and quite a journey, quite a journey. But it was, it was worth it. It was worth it. We found an absolute diamond in the rough, didn't we? I think it's a bit of a peach, to be honest. Looks a little bit rough around the edges, but we've had a look over it. And so we'll show you one. that. We'll do a walk around in a minute. But today's episode is all about old versus new. And we have got a Fiat Punto, a Bath Evo Super Sport in today. And we're going to compare the two, how it's progressed over the years. Yeah, we're going to look at what performance, comfort. Yeah. General. Well, yeah, new <laughs> car in it. Yeah, but I mean, to be fair, those seats do look quite comfortable. I haven't sat in it yet, though. But if you were from my generation, when I was growing up, this is what we had. And the new generation, this is what they've got. You're the same age as me, so when we were growing up, we had these. We Uno loved turbos, these, yeah. Couldn't OGTs. Proper old school, um, simple. So yeah, we're gonna do a comparison. That's <laughs> new, that's old. That's better. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys. Which do you prefer, this one or this one? But yeah, James, come on over and let's do a walk around on the Punto GT and I'll tell you a bit more about it. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more from the channel. You, say me, say from me. me. Oh, from me, it's yeah. a personal thing. Say, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of me. <laughs> please like and subscribe if you want to see more of the Maxwell on the Autosportivo channel. Press the button. What wing? There. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this little shed that we've got here, Punto GT, um, it's got a genuine Abarth body kit on it and it's got optional extra factory leather seats. James, come and look at this. These are really rare. Whoa, a, don't mind the squeaking doors. Oh, extra oh. squeaky noise. It's old age. Don't worry, it's old age. It's characteristic. Yeah. It's a WD-40 on So we've got real rare leather seats here with punto on there. Punto. And they are actually quite comfy. <laughs> they it smells comfy. of Milan leather. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Milan or leather. Italian's finest. Yeah. But James, have a look how genuine and original it is in there. A genuine bath mats, genuine head unit, genuine gear knob. Everything in it is all original, which I like. I was bored looking through Facebook and it was up for sale. Um, it pictures didn't do it justice. It looked like it had a like look, end look, of life. It looked really. like a breaker, really. It did, didn't it? Yeah, it looked like but a breaker. But went to view it and I saw past all the dirt and it's actually a little gem. And I'm actually shocked nobody else has um, picked it up before I did. It came with a new bonnet, a new set of wings. Um, new door? Which, oh yeah, new door, because it's got a little bit of a dink. I don't like these things, like Lamborghini vents here. In the 90s, this would have been yeah. awesome, but... Not now, yeah, in the Max Power days. So dated. I've got, we've got a bonnet, which we sent off to the paint shop. A door, it's gone to the paint shop, and a wing. So all that stuff is at the paint shop at the minute. So when it comes back, I'm going to put this and the door all back to original. I think it's an excellent car. I think it's an excellent find. I think it's a diamond in the rough, like you said. And this has definitely got so much potential to be an absolute gem. Gem, yeah. Big, can on the back. big old dustbin. Oh, my Uno Turbo had a bigger one than that. Ignore this bit, though. <laughs> Nothing to see there. It's Nothing just a ding. It'll, it'll buff out. That will. Bit of tea cut, yeah. That will come out. Bit of demon shine. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, that, I'll show you, James. I'll show you. <sighs> Normally, these bits go missing. I'll lift it up. Oh, that's baller. And then you can't lift it back up because you're too heavy. Whoa, oh, fucking hell. Make the seat go up and down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's come off. Oh, you've broken the car. Oh no, it's just lost half of it to that. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh no, he broke it again. Oh God's sake. Why did I ask? <laughs> yeah, but 
and it's got a sunroof. Yeah, it has. Have you it, tried it? I haven't tried it. Um, Try it, go on. it's not rotten. No, it's good. Yeah. Um, I like it. It's had a little bit of welding done, which is good. Because mm. it's been all. done in the right places and it's been done to a high standard. So that's always a good thing. It, bibs, that works. works. I like it. We'll get it out in a minute. We'll take it for a drive. I like the dials. It kind of brings me back to the Fast and Furious days. Oh, yeah. So I'm guessing this isn't running stock boost if it's got a boost gauge. Apparently, it's running... What did he say? 200 and something. Yeah. He said 220 or something Whether like that. that's true or not, you don't know. Yeah. It has got a big front mount in the cooler on it. It's got some sort of boost controller. Pop the bonnet and have a look. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. It's a bit dirty under here because it hasn't had the ride effect yet. It hasn't been Raj effect. No, but we've got the original air box, which is worth a lot of money with the brackets. Um, it's got some sort of turbo smart boost controller. And it's got a big front mount in the cooler down there. That looks like a lot of power. It does look like power. We'll find it? out later, James. More power, baby. More power. And then it's got a boost, a little dumping Bailey's valve. Bailey's dump valve. Bailey's, that's old school. And a few nice silicone pipes to add some pizzazz to the mix. <laughs> very good, very nice. And so some blue hoses, which is always good for BHP. <laughs> blue, blue, uh, blue yeah, blue vac hoses always add any color adds bhp so tony's running about what 700 700 at least yeah. at least worth of uh, color tony's hp this is its younger brother it's very aggressive it is very aggressive next to that that looked aggressive earlier <laughs> and now this is next to it it don't it looks really tame this but does look nice i like it i, I do like, like it, it too i hate to admit it yeah because i like old school but yeah. I, i've always liked these i've always actually had yeah. a thing for them yeah and um, this is a super sport, so there was only, how many, 50, only 50 of these, and um, this is one of them. And what does a super sport mean? Super sport, what does it mean? Oh God, what does it mean? It means super sporty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a super sporty. It means it's super sporty. <laughs> it's super what sporty. else is it going to mean? It means it's got an extra 20 horsepower. It means it's got an extra 20 horsepower, there you go. We've had this on the dyno. How much horsepower does it make? When we had it on dyno, what did it make? 192. So when we had this on our dyno, it made 192. Um, and that's... Stage one. No. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, stage one. Oh, cool. Oh, it's very nice inside. Do you want to have a look inside? Let's have a look inside. What's Those going on? look like the, um, the ones in your bath. Yeah, they, they are. They are the ones the in your bath. yeah. It's cool, isn't it? They're a nice... What is that? Like a sort of Alcantara. 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 Which is a great material when it's... When no one's touched it. <laughs> so, giant Lego that is where the power comes from. The Lego power. The Lego power. Yeah. Look how clean it is under there. It is very clean. It's a nice example. A bar. It's yeah. got a monster engine cover on so it. What, what engine has it got? So this is the one point. This is a one point four. I like how that's a one point four eight valve, um, and I like how they've kept it like one point four. But this is one point four multi air. So you have got the multi air unit on these, which need extra attention and care because once they start to fail then i hope you have deep pockets so basically these are wheels <laughs> they're, they're round. round yeah and they're black you've got some spaces going on have you yeah they're like 10 mil spaces look like it 12 but these 12 are mil? rare these 10. are ss they're oh, ss alloys we've got a uh, a big old thing and um netting no back seats this is a little bit intense no back seats it's a bit of a light super leggera there's a little octopus, angry octopus, and a lobster. <coughs> it's super lightweight, no back seats. It's very modern, isn't it? Look at the head unit. It's all very, even the AC unit, it's very digitized. This is digitized. nice, I like, I really love the interior. I love these seats, and I've got these seats in my above. But look at this, super sport here. Look, he's retrimmed the steering wheel. Very nice. All his sponsorship stickers are up there. It's gone from plastic knobs to super digital. Oh look, to the grab, look at the Jesus handle. That's a good With Jesus the little above yeah. wrappy thing on it. I like, I like that. that. It's got nice little touches in here. This yeah. sport mode, normal mode. Ah. And what's in the middle? Nothing. You don't get a middle. <laughs> it's all you or nothing. You either get slow or... Zero to a hundred. Yeah. All or nothing. It is all or nothing. Go hard or go home. Yep. I like it. I respect it. I definitely respect it. I love it. it. It's cool. It's nice. So would you rather have 
well, we haven't driven it yet, but yeah. do you prefer this over I used to own, I've owned three of these. Aren't these better than 500s because they actually yeah. have like room in them? I would say they're both different, mm. but I've owned a few of these. <coughs> um, and if I was to choose, not that I don't like this, I love these, mm. but if I was to choose, the Fiat 500 gives me more enjoyment. Yeah, it's more it's more simple fun, isn't it? Yeah. I love these. This is more for me this would be more of a better daily. Yeah. But for just pure fun factor. Yeah. We're in the Punto GT. So this is the first time I've driven this car because when we got it it had a bad water leak which we had to fix. And it hasn't been on the road for how many years? Quite a long time. I don't know, but it's been off the road for a while. So we need to get to the petrol station without breaking down or running out of fuel. Okay, so it's run it's running definitely standard boost. Is it? Yeah, I'll find out. I'll let it warm up a bit. Yeah, it's quite uh vibrating in here, but the seats are comfy. The seats are comfy. So we've had they? a few Punto GTs on the channel and I've never seen one with leather seats. Well, these are quite cool actually. And it's got like these leather door card insert bit bits there it's quite it's, I don't, not, it's not quite an alfa romeo but it's it's nice i'll be honest i don't know if i like the leather seats no. i prefer the gt3 seats yeah they're quite there. cool i mean they do a job but they're quite comfy they are i think they? on a long journey these are probably better than the fabric ones because they're quite squidgy but i don't know if they're as sporty well so brakes work brakes work it drives in a straight line that's always good um I haven't really booted it yet because I'm waiting for no fuel, I'm waiting for it to warm up. We've got good oil bar pressure. That's always good. Oh, dump oh, valve. Dump valve noise. It feels really light, yeah. but that's what I expect from one of these. Yeah, well, we were having a look. They weigh about 950 kilos 950. ish. Yeah. So they're pretty lightweight. A little bit um, heavier than the Uno Turbo. Which I would imagine is going to be one of the big differences between this and the new one yeah. is the weight because that new car is quite a lot bigger than this yes. and I'd imagine a lot heavier because of more safety technology and this that and the other you know back in the day they didn't have to yeah. build as much into the cars so they could be a lot lighter and I don't think um, that's going to feel as quick as this one although that's probably faster on the long straight this yeah. is more raw this more this more, will feel uh, wobbly yeah <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to. I'll, I'll watch the turbo, the boost gauge when when, when you put your foot down, see what it gets up to. Uh, about 15 psi. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that is in bar. So the boost, I turn it down, and I click. Did you film it earlier when I went half a turn? No. No. So I turned it right down. Because I, I don't know the car, I'm not going to just yeah, get in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Make but sure it's what reliable. We can do later. Turn the boost up. We could turn it up. See what we can send it to. How much does it cost to replace an engine in one of these? If you can find one. <laughs> if you can find one. Oh, yeah, it does go. It does go. It's quite a good noise as well. It's got an exhaust blow. Of course. But I do have a downpipe. That we can put on it. Yeah. Do you know what, James? Mm. It drives really nice. Good. There's no, it feels tight still. There's, I know. There's no rattles or anything. No. There's no knocks, no bangs. Mm. Um, it has got, um, is it Spax? I think it's Spax shocks or something. Oh, okay. They were yellow. Right. I didn't really look, but. The suspension's been changed on it. Have you ever driven one? No. I think you might enjoy it more if there's a bit more boost. <laughs> I do like boost. 131 horsepower is standard. Um, but we've seen some of these tuned to like way over 200. Oh. I don't think we might have an indicator out based on that noise. Because there was that guy that was running his at Santa Pod. Remember, he came to the garage, the yellow one, yes. with the Italian flag yeah, on the intake. His, his, was his was like 220 or something, something like that, wasn't it? You won't think it's great, but you will do once I've played about with the... Shall we turn the boost up? Shall I? I don't know, how do you open the bonnet? 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so Ant is turning up the boost. So we'll, we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't explode. An old car, so we're going to respect it. Yes, because you know what happens with yes. old cars, especially over gravelly roads. Oh, it's worked. Ooh. Has gone a bit quicker. Oh, I turned it the right way then. <laughs> That's quicker than what it was earlier. Yeah. I've seen the gauge go up. Have more. a look at the boost gauge, see where it gets up to. Yeah, it feels um, quite planted, to be fair. What does it say now? <laughs> what did it go up to? Or were you too busy looking at the road? I was too busy looking at the road. <laughs> All, right. All right. I could just feel it. It's yeah. quicker. It feels quicker, James. Yeah, it does go, doesn't it? There's a lot of lag, though, isn't there? It takes a while before it comes on boots, but when it does, it, it does fly. But yeah, I know what you mean. It feels like a little go-kart. It does, not it? Yeah. To me, this feels like a refined Uno Turbo. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a little less rattly and a little yeah. less uh, bouncy and it's a bit more planted. I know what you mean. But it still has that kind of Uno Turbo vibe where it's yeah. like, you know, a nice kick with the boost and it still feels light. Not quite as light as an Uno Turbo, but, but you can still sort of send it. <laughs> it's a quick little thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little, little pocket rocket. Same. With the Pinto GTs, I think they deserve more of a following. I don't know, they yeah. never really got that no. following like the Uno Turbo got. And no. these are not worth mega, mega money no, like the Uno Turbos are now. Yeah. Which is a shame. Oh, God, that's very nice. Because it is, yeah. I don't know, they never got that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, though, as somebody who's not like a big Fiat fan, yeah. I see the appeal in the Uno Turbo because I think it looks really cool, yeah. whereas these don't really do a lot for me. Really? Visually, I think they look a bit like, I don't know, they just look like a bit of a... I don't think they're old enough yet to be yeah. cool. How are the brakes? They work. Okay. They're not life-changing, but they do work. That's good. I'll stall it. It was just it was just like a wide open throttle, even though my foot's not on the throttle. I just dumped it in fifth gear to stall it. Oh my god. Well maybe the throttle stuck open. What's going on? Because I lifted Jay? my I lifted my foot off the <laughs> throttle and it just went and I was like, it's not a diesel, it's not a runaway. <laughs> so I don't know. Yes, I found the problem. Oh. What is Look. the problem? Ah. Yeah, because I was trying to slow down. I was like, why is the car going faster? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's all loose. Oh, no. I blame the previous owner. Right, I'll do that finger type for now. When we get back to garage, I can change that. Yeah. Okay. okay. We made it back um, with only one minor issue that we then fixed, so all good. So, the new version. The Punto GT, hopefully this one won't have a throttle that sticks up. On it's closed, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Uh, um, it is now. Yeah, or shall we, we'll on. start in normal and then we'll, we'll change it as we go. Why is it not changing? So oh, you hold it. Oh dear. Yeah, okay, we're in normal mode. All right, so I don't know what sport and normal mode do, but I guess we'll find out. It's weird that we have no back seats, but it's like a van. You can put so much stuff in here. It's quite cool, actually. Take it to the smooth road. So, 192 horsepower. Oh. So, I love these, I do. And if I had to go home with that or this today, I would go home in this. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Because. This is pretty cool, actually. It's comfort, it's more comfortable. Yeah, but it's also somehow stiffer, but still more comfortable. Well, I don't know, actually, these seats are not giving me the comfort level that those nice leather plush seats were giving me. <laughs> But I feel like if we go around a corner, I'm actually going to stay in the chair with this. So we're in normal mode at the moment. Um, 
See, I feel like, and obviously I haven't driven this, but I feel like this is just going to go around corners better than a 500 bar. I think it does. You reckon? Well, it's bigger platform, wider tyres. It's um, like bigger a, wheels, yeah, 18s, I just, I just, Coney shocks. Well, so is the above yeah. Coney's. It's quite stiff, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it oh, nice. man, I like it. Oh, now I want one. <laughs> You've already had one. I've lots had of time. three of these. Oh, we're going to whack it in sport mode. Yes. That gives you something. I don't know what sport mode does. How could people would rather buy a Corsa than one of these? Um, Corsas are everywhere. This yeah, is more special. Corsa, a Corsa is smaller than this. This is bigger than a Corsa, though, isn't it? Oh, this this is, is like a almost like a Golf, really. I feel. You reckon? Yeah, I think so. It's bigger than a Corsa. Oh, bit of wheel spin. Oh. It pulls nice. Yeah. It's like a modern modern car, isn't it? I feel though like I have faith in this to go around a corner. Yeah. More than gives uh, you more confidence. Yeah. I love it. Mm. I should be speaking more about it, but I'm just enjoying driving it. <laughs> and he's done an amazing job on this one. If I was to have one of these, this is how I would have it. Yeah. I'd just get rid of the stickers. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are quite a lot of stickers. Yeah. But, um, I mean, they're on the inside though. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I love it. God, it sounds nice, doesn't it? Smooth. Oh god, the brakes! The brakes are so much better. The brakes are so much better. You can actually. Wow! Yeah, bloody the, are they good? And that was like not even. That was like oh. ten percent pressure. Yeah, when you put your foot down, it just grips. I'm guessing it's got an LSD in it because it pulls around the corners quite nice. Have the confidence that this won't just explode mid corner. <laughs> that like when you press things, they're gonna work. Um, I like it. I like how the steering as well, as you speed up, gets heavier. Yeah. Because like when you're in, you know, manoeuvring it, it's really light, and then when you like get going, it actually stiffens up a bit, um, which is quite nice. A lot of like newer cars do that, and it is quite a good feature. And then when you're on the motorway, it doesn't like, it's not so light that you just drift around. It drives well, to be fair. Um, but there's no way in a billion years I'd pick a 500 over this. This is just better. You choose it. It feels like a proper car. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas the 500 feels like... I mean, I guess that's part of the appeal of the 500 is that it feels like a toy. Um, but this feels like, like it handles a lot better. Um, Although, to be fair, I've never actually driven a 500 on the road. I've only ever driven it around Millbrook, which is quite a harsh test, because Millbrook, well, you know what the, the hill road there yeah, is it's like. It's, it's kind of mental, so. <laughs> oh, no, I do like this. Uh, um, also, I, obviously, this version has no back seats, but if you had one of these with back seats, like, it's a, a usable everyday car. You could put plenty of stuff in it. I kind of like that. Like, if you would pick one as a daily, this would just be better. And then it still does this. <laughs> but it, it pulls nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, so that concludes today's episode. So what did you think? Which one would you take home? Oh, uh, well, I'm getting old now. Yes, I love this for... Bloody our bar owners. I know, ridiculous. Sounds like a tractor. Someone put marbles in his exhaust. <laughs> the kids, yeah. Someone chucked some stones in it. Travel in it. All I hear is marbles. Stones. Right.
Okay. okay. So that concludes today's episode on old versus new. So what did you think? What car would you take home, given the choice? I think it's something to do with my age, but if I was to choose one to go home in, I'd choose this. You're, you're giving up on the old school? Yeah, do you know what? I'm getting old, this is more comfortable. That, what, what did they drive like? What was the difference in drive? What, like, is there a notice? This is more difference? solid. Yeah. It's more... The brakes work, <laughs> everything on it works. It gives you confidence when you drive it. Yeah. Um, that now, for me, it would just be like getting it on a Sunday, um, have some fun in it and then put it back in the garage because yeah. like just now it broke on us and yeah. it took five minutes for it to break didn't it James but then how long did it take to fix two seconds see if that broke yeah how long would that take to fix depends what breaks <laughs> if the throttle breaks on that how long would that take to fix while it's electronic electronics there you what go. would you choose are you that still one. <laughs> <laughs> and we're from the era of these as well I like this but <laughs> if I had to live with it it would be this one it's a cool looking car it, it's aged well. It still looks new. Yeah. This it does, looks it? old. This is this still. You could put that next to a new car, and it still looks good. It doesn't look like an old car, given what it's got. What would the body you kit. choose, guys, at home? Put it in the comments below. New or old? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and so that I think wraps it up for today. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button hit the subscribe button and um, that's about it. On to the next one. On to the next one. Hmm. What's the plans for this? I'm going to fix it up and I'm going to sell it. Yeah? Yeah. Get it running sweet. Yeah. Enjoy it for a little bit, even though it's the wrong time of year now.